Hey, I'm Jonas. In this video, I will guide you on how to farm bubble coral, exchange coral jelly, and I will also guide you on how to reach hero level 2500 in Dragon Nest Sea. Now, without further ado, let's start. Okay, you might ask that, why do we need to farm bubble coral and increase our hero level? Increasing your hero level is one of the required tasks for completing the Dragon Nest Veteran Beginner's Guide, and upon reaching hero level 2000, you will be able to start the Dream Catcher side quest to unlock your character's hero skill, and on top of that, this is the added stats upon increasing your hero level up to 2500. Important note, hero level stats are applied to all of your max level characters in your account. So, how do we farm bubble corals? The first and guaranteed way to farm bubble corals is by clearing these weekly nest stages. Each nest stage guarantees a 5 bubble coral drop regardless of the labyrinth difficulty. There are a total of 12 nest stages, so per week, you can get a total of 60 bubble corals just from doing these nest stages. Important note, the maximum clear limit for these nests is set to once per week only, so if you want to enter again, you will have to wait for the weekly reset which happens every Saturday at 9am GMT plus 8, game server time. The next way to get bubble corals is from the special chest reward after you've cleared a Lippus Lucky Zone stage. If you want to know more about Lucky Zone in the game, I have tons of guides about that, so be sure to check it out. Moving on, upon opening the special chest reward, there's a low probability chance that you might get a 2 bubble coral. Upon completing a lucky zone stage, this is the drop table chance of bubble coral for each labyrinth difficulty. You can also get 2 bubble corals from the reward chest after clearing the deep abyss of nightmare stage with a low probability chance. The next way to get bubble corals is from the blood, sweat and tears point shop or also known as BST point shop. The BST Point Shop NPC is located in this part of St. Haven. Talk to him, and under the General Stock tab, you will see the Bubble Coral listed in the shop. Purchasing one Bubble Coral costs 30,000 BST points each. Important note, I don't really recommend using your BST points just to buy Bubble Coral, unless it's necessary or you really need it. Okay, you might ask that, how do I get BST points? These are the most accessible source of BST point farming for beginners. The last way to get bubble corals is from the Crystal Point NPC located in this part of St. Haven. Talk to her, then select Crystal Point Shop, and click the General Stock tab. Purchasing one bubble coral costs 6,000 crystal points each. Important note. Again, I don't also recommend using your crystal points just to buy bubble coral unless it's necessary or you really need it. Okay. You might ask that, how do I get crystal points? The most accessible source of crystal points is from doing these world weekly tasks with the crystal fortune cookie as a reward. Each crystal fortune cookie gives 2000 crystal points, but if you're lucky enough, you might get the jackpot amount which is 200,000 crystal points. Okay, now that you know how to farm bubble corals, the next question is, how do I exchange these bubble corals for coral jellies? To exchange bubble coral into coral jellies, first, you will need to have at least 10 bubble coral and 800 gold in your inventory, and you must carry out your character's growth side quest through your class master NPC. In my case, I already have 10 bubble coral and 800 gold, so the next thing I need to do is to carry out my character's growth quest through my master NPC. Important note, each class have their own respective master NPC. For these classes, these are the names of each of their master NPC and their location in the game. I will show you how to carry out the growth quest in the location of each character's master NPC. For the warrior class, you need to talk to Master Warrior Rodrigo. Master Warrior Rodrigo is located in this part of St. Haven. Now, to carry out the growth side quest, upon talking to your respected master NPC, select the growth option, and from here, you can just hold the spacebar to skip the dialogue quest and quickly exchange the 10 bubble coral and 800 gold for 10 coral jellies. Make sure that you have at least 10 bubble coral and 800 gold in your inventory to complete the growth side quest. Okay, now that I have shown you how to do the growth quest, let's move on to the other class. For the Archer class, you need to talk to Master Archer Ithilien. Master Archer Ithilien is located in this part of St. Haven. May the tree of blessing be with you. For the Sorceress class, you need to talk to Master Sorceress Stella. Master Sorceress Stella is located in this part of St. Haven. Wonderful. I was bored to tears. For the Cleric class, you need to talk to Master Cleric Enoch. 
Master Cleric Enoch is located in this part of Saint Haven. For the academic class, you need to talk to Academic Station. Academic Station is located in this part of Saint Haven. For the Kali class, you need to talk to Hermit's Totem. Hermit's Totem is located in this part of Saint Haven. For the Assassin class, you need to talk to Shadow Nako. Shadow Nako is located in this part of Saint Haven. For the Lancia class, you need to talk to Eltia Justicia. Eltia Justicia is located in this part of Saint Haven. For the Machina class, you need to talk to martial artist Xiao Long. Martial artist Xiao Long is located in this part of Saint Haven. And last, for the Vander class, you need to talk to Kana. Kana is located in this part of Red Lotus Palace Main Streets. Okay, now that you know how to farm and exchange your bubble corals, the next question is, how many bubble coral and gold do I need? to reach hero level 2000 and from hero level 2000 to hero level 2500. This is the total amount of bubble coral and gold needed, if you want to at least reach hero level 2000. And this is the total amount of bubble coral and gold needed, if you want to reach hero level 2500 from hero level 2000. So, the total cost of bubble coral and gold from hero level 1 to 2500 is this. Important note, if you're a new player, I would recommend that you reach at least hero level 2000, and worry about reaching hero level 2500 later on down the road, because you only need to reach hero level 2000 to unlock the side quest for unlocking your character's hero skill. If you want to know how to get your hero skill after reaching hero level 2000, you can check my guide about it. In my case, I now have enough bubble coral to reach hero level 2000. I will now exchange these bubble corals for coral jellies and use them. This city is not my kind of place. Hope to see you in the battleground soon. If you want to exchange bubble coral again, you just need to retake your growth side quest from your master NPC. Ah, this city is not my kind of place. Okay, you might ask that, is it required to farm the bubble coral only on one character? Or is it possible to use the bubble coral of our other characters? Yes. You can farm bubble corals on your other character and use them as long as you have bubble corals in gold. Okay, now that I have the required amount of coral jellies, I will now use these to increase my hero level. To use the item, just press right click, and press yes. Okay, now that I've reached hero level 2000, I will now aim for hero level 2500. As I've shown you before, these are the required amount of bubble corals and gold to reach hero level 2500 from hero level 2000. A few minutes later. Many, many minutes later. Now that I've reached hero level 2500, 
The hero level 2500 stats are applied to all of my max level characters in my account. If you already reached at least hero level 2000, I suggest watching my video guide on how to unlock your character's hero skill. Before you go, please leave a like and share it with your friends, and consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this. That's all for this video, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the comment section below.